in the year of 2016 and also last year, uh, it held the 19th Asia Game. So Hangzhou in the history of China uh, used to be the capital city of China in the uh, South Song Dynasty. So uh, that kind of uh, that period of history made this city a uh, ancient city. So uh, the city actually has its ancient site uh, with uh, more than a hundred. Uh, ancient uh, temples and we have like three UNESCO heritage sites and also there are uh, more than 50 museums and uh, uh, you know the difference between Hangzhou and other cities in China is that so the scenic spot actually that the most beautiful sceneries of the city actually is inside the city you don't have to travel like one hour two hours by uh, car or you know uh, it just you walk around in the city you can fully enjoy the the beautiful sight of the city and uh, on the screen the left side you're just watching at the sunset of uh, the west lake and uh, uh, in addition to its uh, historical site the city actually have expressed its uh, modern uh, face to to the world and uh, um, and in this city you can actually easily immerse yourself in this traditional Chinese culture and the city is actually uh, friendly to to foreigners and there's a lot of international communities in the city so uh, you will like it when you come so now I have some uh, information to share with you of our university so university was founded in the year of 19 1953 and uh, uh, it's officially established in the year of 19 I think 49 and uh, it's one of the provincial key universities in Zhejiang province and uh, we are a WHO listed medical universities so you don't have to worry about whether your degree uh, obtained from a university legitimate or not uh, it's absolutely recognized by WHO if you search the WHO website for the uni uh, medical schools in China you will see our university was right there and speaking of its uh, rank actually I have uh, the latest uh, uh, the rank of uh, this Shanghai ranking so in the year of 2024 our university actually ranked number 20 among uh, more than 100 medical schools in China and uh, for the uh, uh, Times Higher Education Ranking uh, 2024, so our life science ranked uh, in the range of uh, 600 uh, to 800, and our clinical uh, health it's uh, between 800 and 1,000. And uh, there are around uh, 1,350 faculties in our university uh, with uh, more than 23,000 full-time students among which about 16,000 are undergraduates and 5,000 around 5,000 postgraduates <coughs> and also we have more than a thousand uh, international students on campus now so we have 16 schools offering about 34 undergraduates majors 52 master programs and 18 doctoral programs so there are three campuses in our university and as a medical school uh, we have four uh, directly affiliated hospitals and more than 20 indirectly or affiliated teaching hospitals so the disciplines of uh, clinical medicine pharmacology and toxicology biology and biochemistry actually rank the top first of uh, ESI in the world And uh, um, this is actually the history of uh, our internationalization of a university. So um, we actually have a national service export base of uh, TCM, and we have an uh, overseas school in Tunisia, and uh, we also have four overseas TCM centers in Romania, Belarus, Israel, and uh, another in New Zealand and we have 11 education centers around the world and also we have two Confucius institutions uh, in Romania and uh, <coughs> uh, South Africa respectively and uh, for the international cooperation and labs research centers now there are 
ten in total. And uh, uh, in the year of 1984, we actually uh, welcomed our first international student uh, from Japan. I think that student actually came to our university to learn acupuncture and masturbation. And to the year of 2023, so we have now uh, more than 160 global partners. And uh, <clears throat> Uh, so to 2020, there are like uh, uh, over uh, 15,000 overseas students having graduated from our university. So these students, they came from more than 60 countries and regions. Okay, so this is uh, um, the location of our nine overseas education centers and four TCM centers. <coughs> So now we have uh, cooperation relations with um, our more than 60, uh, 160 institutes in more than 50 countries all over the world. You can see all these. We actually have connections with those institutes, universities. Okay, so now you're looking at the, the uh, campus view. And uh, for now, our international students will be uh, studying and living on the main campus uh, called Bingwen campus that's here, up uh, left here. And uh, right down here, it's the uh, view of our Fuchun campus. So um, uh, some of the majors, the freshmen of, uh, uh, I think, uh, pharmacy, and they will be having their lectures here. Uh, this is some of our lab facilities and we also have like two research centers so these centers actually they welcome all those uh, international research teams to come and uh, conduct their scientific researches. Okay so now looking at uh, the photos of our uh, dorm room for now, we do not have a single room. There's only uh, four sharing, three sharing, and two sharing rooms available on campus. And uh, we have actually two buildings for international students. So each of the building actually is uh, uh, equipped with a laundry and the kitchen. And uh, you know, in China, uh, the government they do not Chinese students to to cook um, these uh, uh, dorm buildings. Chinese students, they don't cook, but for the international students, so considering their different living habits, their different uh, religion, so we provide uh, these kind of facilities. So uh, if you're not satisfied with uh, this on-campus accommodation, so you can apply to live off campus. So um, we will, we will uh, give consent to both uh, undergraduates and postgraduate students to live off campus. <clears throat> so this is some of the catering services on campus. So we actually have like four dining places for uh, both the students and the faculties on Bingwen campus. And there's also a halal, halal diner uh, available um, on Bingwen campus. That's what, for our Muslim students. So, you know, uh, they are not just uh, international students who are Muslims. We also have Chinese students who are Muslims. And uh, on campus, you can get access to the coffee shop, the, the fruit shop, and bakery, and the convenience shop. Basically, you can actually get everything you need for your daily life. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm talking about uh, the scholarship. So, I'm sorry, this is... Uh, uh, Chinese. So uh, basically speaking, there are uh, three types of uh, scholarship available in our university. So uh, unfortunately, we are not a CSC, Chinese government uh, scholarship uh, university, but we do have Zhejiang Provincial Scholarship. So the amount of uh, Zhejiang Provincial, gov Provincial Government Scholarship is from 2000 Twenty thousand to thirty thousand a year, and we have our merit-based scholarship that's from two thousand to twenty thousand. Also, we have our program uh, scholarship that means uh, it's like uh, for different programs, we give the students different uh, amount or different type of uh, scholarship. <clears throat> 
So now you are looking at our bachelor programs. So all these programs are actually available to international students as long as you speak good Chinese. So that means if you have HSK for Chinese language proficiency, you are free to apply any of those programs on the screen. So and if you uh, get admitted successfully into one of these programs. So we will grant you the Zhejiang Provincial uh, Government Scholarship that is 20,000 for each of them. And uh, I think uh, uh, for most of the medical programs, we're going to charge like 25,000 tuition fee uh, one year. And you have this Zhejiang Provincial uh, Scholarship that means you can you can just pay five thousand tuition fee every year, but this these kind of programs they really really have very high requirement for Chinese language proficiency because you're gonna study together with the Chinese students. So what if you don't speak a word of Chinese? So we have those uh, programs exclusive to the international students. Uh, okay, so this is the uh, TCM. Uh, TCM programs, it's it's also have very high uh, requirement for Chinese language. So upon your application, we need our your applicants already have HSK four certificate, so they can apply. So uh, there's going to be six year studies for this program, and uh, after one year study, students need to pass HSK five to start the TCM courses study. Well, uh, it uh, sounds like it's very difficult, yes, but if you can speak good Chinese, this could be a very, very good program because we're gonna uh, give every admitted students to full tuition fee waiver for six years. Okay, so if you meet our requirements and for this requirements, uh, I mean, the requirements is, is it's, it's very basic. So you don't fail any of the courses, you don't violate any of the school regulations or the law of the Chinese government. You basically can get that. Uh, okay, so this another, um, oh, by the way, the teaching language of uh, this TCM, it's a uh, it's, uh, Chinese, Chinese. And uh, this one is uh, uh, international business. This is also taught in Chinese. And uh, um, it's four year, it's four year, but if your language proficiency is not that high, you can come for the first one semester to improve your Chinese language and then you can start it, the learning of this major. And uh, the tuition fee for this one is uh, 17,000. It's, uh, it's, it's much cheaper because it's not a medicine. And, uh, um, and uh, for now, the um, scholarship pro uh, policy for this program is uh, the first year tuition fee free. <laughs> okay, so uh, actually uh, there's uh, three more uh, programs uh, exclusive for international students, but they're kind of missing from my slides. I can just introduce to you. So the one is uh, clinical medicine. So this is like six year long program taught in English. So the first year is uh, Chinese learning and uh, uh, some basic uh, courses of uh, medicine. And uh, uh, you don't ha you don't need to have any prior knowledge or any foundation of Chinese language that you can apply for. It's just like a zero foundation of a Chinese language. So every student who would like to l study medicine, they can apply for that. And uh, uh, the tuition fee is twenty two thousand a year. Uh, uh, just uh, for the first year, universities are not going to provide any of the uh, scholarship to the students. But from the second year on, based on the uh, comprehensive performances of the previous year, students, they can apply for the merit-based scholarship. And uh, the merit-based scholarship, as I just showed you before, it's from 2,000 to 20,000. And for this program, about 30% of the students, they can actually get the, the scholarship. It's just a matter of uh, amount. 
and uh, the second English medium program is uh, nursing. So nursing is four year long um, uh, program. So when you graduate, so you're gonna get the Bachelor of uh, Science degree, and uh, the tuition fee is uh, twenty thousand. And for the first year, we do not charge any of the tuition fee. So and you don't have to apply for that kind of uh, uh, scholarship separately. So once you get admitted, you get the admission letter from our university. Now you're gonna have that uh, scholarship for the first year for sure. And for the later years, it's based on the previous year's performances. And uh, um, so we give like a, the problem, a program scholarship to this program. And uh, if you don't fail any of the courses, you are well behaved, now you're going to have the scholarship. So this is the basic requirements. And I think every student who meet the basic requirements, they, they can have scholarship. It just uh, whether you have 20,000 or you have 10,000. Okay. So the another one is uh, pharmacy and the pharmacy is also four year long and uh, the Bachelor of Science program and it basically has the same uh, scholarship policy as uh, as nursing. Okay, so for nursing, for pharmacy and uh, for the international business. So these three programs students do do not need to pay for the tuition fee for the first year, but nursing pharmacy taught in English, uh, international business is it's in Chinese. Okay, so now let me talk about the scholarship for the postgraduate programs. So for both masters and the PhD, uh, for this year's policy is for tuition fee waiver for three years. So these are the master programs. So our master programs basically cover the, the field of uh, TCM then uh, clinical medicine, then nursing, and we have public health. So we have um, pharmacology, pharmaceutics. So we also have MPA. So these are basically, it's, it's like a, a medicine related or, or pharmacy related. So there's two um, type of degree for our master program. It's one is academic degree and the other one is clinical degree. So, uh, but if you wanna be uh, a candidate of a clinical degree program, so you need to have HSK4, whether it's taught in Chinese or in English. So for both type of uh, uh, programs, for every uh, major, both Chinese medium and English medium is available. So it's just whether it's taught in English or Chinese, as long as it's clinical degree, you need to have HSK4 when you apply. Uh, so this is actually the policy of uh, uh, the Chinese government. Okay, so then our another special recommendation of our master program of uh, audiology. So this program actually is uh, sponsored by uh, an audiology uh, research and event man manufacturer called uh, uh, Huiar. So uh, this company sponsored this program. And uh, this is also a three year long master program and the tuition fee is 32,000 per year. And uh, this uh, company, they will give each of the candidates 125,000 scholarships. So the first year, now 40% of the total amount of the scholarship then for the next two years, 30% respectively. So, but they have very, very strict, I would say, selection standard for this program. And uh, why I s recommend this, this program, because when you get in, into this one and you finished the program, basically you also have your career because the company will have the, 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 the postgraduates to set up their own business in their own country. So basically it's like a branch company of uh, Hui Er uh, in the, the student's home country. So students can be uh, a dealer of the hearing aid and also could be a manufacturer and also it could be a distributor of uh, the products. So both education and uh, your career settled, okay? So, but um, 
this is like uh, not a lot of seats available i think maybe three seats for each of the batch that's the most <laughs> yes and uh, uh this sh this is the phd programs on our uh, uh, in our university so our phd programs basically is tcm or chinese pharmacy and the uh, integration of uh, or tcm and western medicine so unfortunately we do not have like a, a, a clinical medicine phd program uh, but we do have like a phd in in nursing okay in nursing so nursing could be a a, a a field of uh, research direction okay and for PhD it's also the same that uh, three years tuition fee free mm -hmm. yes. yes okay so that's uh, our contact so now our step September intake is already open and uh, the, the, the a deadline for application uh, July 15th, I think that's for the bachelor program. And for the master programs, I just make it like one month early, June 15th, because for master programs, we also have to organize the, the interviews. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so all the applications need to be submitted through our application portal. Okay. Yeah, okay, so you can also follow us uh, Facebook, Instagram to to get yourself updated with our uh, so what's going on in our university. We're gonna uh, post so uh, students' activities and or all, all these kind of uh, information so the students uh, outside of China they can know what is happening. Yes. Okay. Yes. So that's all I want to share today. Thank you. Thank you.